the Midwest, Snowmageddon. And it's May, it's spring, and it's snowing. Parts of Minnesota buried under 18 inches. The president, moments ago, the signing a disaster declaration for the state. That's a, a disaster declaration based on all the snow and cold they've been dealing with. Now move down to Texas, the city of Dallas. Dallas hitting a record low. So much for Al Gore's global warming prediction when he said that we should brace ourselves for one hot 20 to 13. Okay, that segment goes on for about five minutes where he invites on a guest and they pile on. L look at the argument that they're piling on to. The argument is, uh, it snowed, global warming is fake. I, I can't even count the number of times I've had to come out on this show and try to explain to the morons in the country the difference between weather and climate. Weather is, at any given time, at any particular place, what's going on at that moment, on that day, right? Climate is when you put together all of the individual weather circumstances, and you look at the trend, the pattern, what direction are you moving at large. You know, uh, Bill Maher said it best. It's like saying the sun isn't real because it got dark at night. No, their arguments are actually not, you know, global warming, not so sure about that because one time on uh, September 7th at 5.43 in the morning in uh, North Dakota, it was 3.2 degrees below average. So, uh, boom, let's wrap this up. We're done. No more global warming. Okay, you idiots. Let me give you some facts. Did you know uh, 2012 was the warmest year on record in the contiguous United States? Okay, but okay, you, now you can say that to me. Well, Kyle, that might just be weather. That's not climate. Fair enough. So 12 of the last 13 years are the warmest years on record. Now we're looking beyond weather. Now we're looking at climate. We're looking at a pattern. All right, that's not enough for you. How about the survey of the experts in the field, the climate scientists who've been studying this their entire lives, 97% of them say global warming is real, it's happening at a fast rate, and uh, it's largely man-made. Okay, that's not enough for you. How about when there was a giant meta-analysis that compiled all of the peer-reviewed studies from the year 1992 until 2012. It's over 13,000 studies on climate change, right? What percentage of them uh, had the same conclusion? Over 99.8. I think out of 13,000 and change, it was only 24 studies that said uh, that didn't come to the same conclusion. So the overwhelming majority of them said, yes, it's real, yes, it's man-made, uh, yes, we need to do something to stop it ASAP. And by the way, I wouldn't be surprised if those other studies somehow slipped through the cracks and were considered double-blind studies, but were funded by ExxonMobil and Chevron and Big Oil and the fossil fuel industry, in which case they'd have a conflict of interest. And they would obviously try to cover it up, right? No, look, it, it, stop arguing against shit that we know is the case. Look, if the year was 1976, you would have an argument. The year is not 1976. We've compiled decades and decades of data. We know the direction the country is going in. We have all, we can show you the numbers, the trends in the numbers. You can't just say willy-nilly, well, one day it snowed, that's, it doesn't exist anymore. 